my chickens. Happy New Year. I cannot believe how fast last year went. Actually blows my mind. Um, so in today's video, we're going to be doing a get ready with me. I haven't done a full glam makeup look in so long and I found this palette in my drawer and it has some really pretty colors in there. Hello. -ha. So that's what we're going to be playing with today. And of course, I'm going to give you guys a little debrief of 2019 and we're going to talk about some goals for 2020. Hopefully we can get motivated together. So just quickly before I jump into this video, I do want to touch on the Australian bushfires happening right now because I don't feel comfortable jumping into a video like all energetic and happy without um, touching on this because this is something that is really close to my heart and has really affected me and so many others. So if you guys don't know, there's a horrific bushfire literally all around Australia. So it's burnt out 12 million acres. Uh, 1 billion animals have died, native animals, which is so heartbreaking. Thousands of people have lost their homes and everything they have. People are literally jumping into beaches to like run from the fires and like into water. It's honestly so, so scary. So if you guys could donate, that would be so amazing. I'll leave the two links down below that I personally have donated to. It's Wires and Red Cross. Um, so that's going to help the animals and then all the people that have been affected and firefighters because a lot of them are not getting paid. Most of them are actually volunteers. So um, it's really nice to see Australia come together at a time like this. There wasn't a lot of coverage when it was first happening, but everyone on social media has really jumped on the bandwagon of spreading awareness and um, encouraging people to donate. So that has been incredible. And I think it's really made a massive difference. So if you guys could do that too, that would be incredible. My friend's from Perth and he just messaged me saying that there's been some crazy bushfires starting over there now. Um, so it's just like, it's not something that's going to end anytime soon, which is really heartbreaking. So yeah, any, any amount of money would help. Even if it's just a dollar, that would be so amazing. But yeah, now we can move on to something a little bit lighter and that's talking about makeup and my, and my life. So let's go. As you can see right now, I have tan on my neck. It's literally the best tan. It's the Bondi Sands Glow Matte. It's so good. I'm this pale right now on the rest of my body, but, um, I just put this on so I can match my foundation to it because I don't like being pasty. <laughs> no. First things first, I'm just going to carve out under my eyebrows. I need to get my brows tattooed on again. They're fading so much. <laughs> hate that for me. Um, so I'm just going to take my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer to do that because I ran out of my um, BH Perfect Be What? Be Perfect Eye Base. So this is going to have to do, Bindi. Oh my God, it looks like I have little bites as eyes. My eyes look that small with concealer on right now. <laughs> so I'm going to take this palette here from Natasha Denona. It is the Sunset Palette. And I'm going to go in with this color right here and I'm going to um, kind of put this in the crease, but I'm going to miss the middle of my eye because I want to do a halo eye look. So I'm going to put it on the inner corner and then the outer corner and then blend it up. All the colors are going to blend into this one. And then I'm just going to softly blend out the edges up here. Da, 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 da. I have all the TikTok songs stuck in my head. Help. I downloaded TikTok uh, probably like a month ago and I've uploaded some. It's so fun. You know, it's so crazy about TikTok and I'm so glad I did this in the new year because I feel like online I've always been like super like goofy and annoying and <laughs> and I don't know. I feel like I kind of stopped being like that. Like I feel like I opened up at one stage. I think it was like middle of last year. I opened up about some things that I was going through and I got so much hate Um like so much hate and I was like you know what I'm not I'm not like being open anymore I'm sick of just like getting completely like bullied online when I'm trying to be vulnerable so that's why I literally stopped opening up online altogether and then when I went back on like so that made me more reserved on social media and then when I went on TikTok I'm like fuck this is so many people just being weird like it was such a vibe and now I'm like all for it again like I feel like I'm kind of getting that back and I'm like not caring what people think again like I don't know it was weird for me to go through a stage like that it's not like it's not that I cared so much it was more like I can't be fucked dealing with it you know what I mean okay so the next color I'm taking is this one right here it's like a burnt dark orange brownie shade and I'm gonna put this um on the actual eyelid and just blend it up a little bit I need to create a little bit of an ombre but yeah you guys should follow me on tiktok it is at shiny grim and I'll leave it down in the description anyway but it's just, I don't know, I think because there's a lot of young people in there, it's just like, I feel like I fit in because I'm such a child mood. But I also feel really old on there because people are talking about school and like, like their boyfriends that they've had for like two weeks. And I'm like, oh, me. Literally me when I was like 13, 15. 
remember I had a boyfriend in um, primary school and I was so like fucking scared, like so scared to date him that I actually said, you can only date me if you date my friend. Like that's literally how shy I was when I was little. I'm so glad I grew out of that because like it was next level. And then my boyfriends would like, yeah, boyfriends, there was a lot in like grade five, I think it was. Um, they would get my bag after school and I would be so scared for them to get my bag because I didn't want to hug them that I left class like two minutes early and ran out the door. And then I remember one of them was like, can, can we kiss at the train station because we used to get the train home? You know what I said? No, we can't. And then we're going with this dark chocolatey brown chocolatey. That's what I was going for. And then I'm going to pop this on um, right in the outer corners and inner corners. It's going to be the darkest part, so... I'm not going to blend this one up as high. Okay, so next step is to take this really pretty yellow gold up here. And I'm going to take a flat shader brush, not like a really stiff one, a little bit fluffy. And I'm going to pack this on the middle of my eye and then blend it upwards because you want to make a nice halo eye. When you don't have a lot of product on the brush, wow, I'm sitting like an old man. Get up, bitch. Um, when you have a little bit on the brush, you can then go in and blend the edges. But for now, just like really focus that on the middle. And the concealer should still be a little bit sticky there, so it's um should be fine without any glue. Okay, so now to blend the sides, I'm just gonna gently pat on that transition there. So it's not too stiff. That line. Okay, so I've blended it as well as I can. Oh my god, I have so much practicing to do in this life of makeup. So now I'm gonna go in and apply some eyelashes, so I will be right back. Oh, that didn't really work. Bye! Oh, that didn't really work. Bye! Yes! Eyelashes are on. Oh my god, that is so intense. Anyways, let's go on to the skin. So I'm going to take this Wonder Glow Instant Soft Focus Beauty Flash. This is from Charlotte Tilbury. I got it when I was in America. Oh my god, that was so fun when I went to America. Don't really remember any of it. But I really want a nice glow all over my face. I've been using this... Um, for a couple of months now and I literally can't go without it because my skin is so dry so this gives it a bit of a glow underneath the foundation new year same foundation I'm going in with the beauty blender bounce liquid whip long wear foundation in the shade 365 um I'm so glad I just found this shade in my cupboard because I have been through so many of these and I thought I had none left yes okay so I'm just gonna blend this all over my face this color is neutral so it's not yellow and it's not pink so I'm very grateful for this color do you remember when I used to like always have yellow foundation on I could never find anything that was neutral obviously I wasn't looking hard enough <laughs> Jesus so in the year of 2019 I'm sure as a lot of you guys know if you were watching my channel um, I went through a bit of shit with like my family as I was saying before and then I lost like a bunch of friends. I had a lot of falling outs. And it was really hard for me because like when I make friends, I make like real lifetime friends, like friends that I'm going to have forever. And I don't just put like half efforts into friendships. It's like all or nothing. So obviously when I go through something with a friend, it's really hard. But um, that was one thing that made this year really, really hard. And it was also a big year for me where I wanted to like remove all the toxic people from my, my life as well. So um I know I stepped back from a few friendships as well which was like obviously hard but yeah I think this year was just all about growth and and recognizing who's good for me and who's not and what I want to be surrounded by so um now that that's kind of all happened I feel like I'm in a really good place also when I moved to Melbourne that was really hard for me because I honestly hated it like I met like a few really amazing people there that I'll be friends with forever so that's great and I learned a lot about myself like if I didn't move there I think I'd be in a really different place now. So I'm super grateful for that. But at the time, it was really, really hard for me. And I fell into this like really sad, sad hole and I couldn't pull myself out of it. So I would fly my mum down like as much as I could. So like I would have family there because that's what I was really missing out on was just like my real, like real connections with people. And at the time I didn't have any, I only had Tommy and he's super independent. So he wasn't always, oh my God, what the fuck? So he's trying to listen to my conversation. Yeah, he's super independent. So obviously he's not always going to be there. Like we're not a couple where we're like together 24 seven. So um, moving in a different state, that was like also really hard for me because I felt like I needed like constant support, but it was really good because I got to kind of 
go through that on my own and come out even stronger so i finally made the move back to brisbane and i feel so good again i just i love being able to just go see my family whenever i can my little siblings moved in with um, my dad so um i've had to kind of help them transition into that and i honestly would just be so sad if i wasn't able to like help that situation you know what i mean oh i'm looking a bit like let's go and fix that there we go yeah, it's been an um, interesting uh, 12 months to say the least, but I am so grateful for everything that has happened, good and bad, because I just was so lost and confused and I feel like you've really got to go through it to figure out shit, you know? I'm just setting under my eyes and my laugh lines with my Patrick Star uh, MAC powder. So I'm going to go on with the Bobbi Brown Foundation Stick in the shade 6.5 and I'm just going to um do a little bit of cream contouring i shouldn't have set under my eyes i totally forgot i was going to do this i don't know how because i do it every time so we're only going to put a little bit here and then we'll go in more with bronzer after um but yeah i'm super excited for 2020 um i've written down all of my goals in my little journal i would definitely recommend journaling your goals because i was reading it and it said 43 percent of people that write down their goals are more likely to go through with them so I actually think that's so true though because you really have to think about what you want when you're writing them down because obviously you want it to make sense and you want to go back and and look at it and see if you've achieved it so you really have to think it through and I feel like that's something that I don't often do I kind of just go with it and I I do things but I don't actually really think about them too much so it was really good to just like write everything down and fully understand what I want so if you guys are feeling a little bit lost I would definitely recommend just like writing them down you don't need a journal you can literally just get a piece of paper and write it down write it in your phone but it's super inspiring to like get a journal and everything's like kind of set out for you it asks you like different questions um yeah it's so good I feel so much better after writing everything down it wasn't even just work it was like personal stuff as well I have health fitness work um because there's so many platforms that I have to kind of like do content on and as much as it might not seem like work it is so time consuming and it's hard because you've got to stay creative 24 7 and there's literally like six different platforms that i've got to like stay active on and not complaining it's literally like the best thing in the world i fucking love it like i love my job so much um but sometimes it can get really hard but i don't think anyone would really understand until they were like in in this position but yeah my new fave thing is tiktok oh, i'm just so obsessed with it i literally have been scrolling so much it's kind of dangerous like literally i'll be in bed at like 10 o'clock and then look at my fucking clock and it's 12 and it's been like five minutes i might actually set my face today just like under here around my mouth because my makeup's going to be on till 10 30 at night so i don't want it to move at all okay so let's finish underneath the eyes First color I'm going to take is that orange shade that, oh my god, this, that we put on first. Then going in with the darker color on the inner corner and outer corner. And then I'll put the glitter in the middle, just like how we did on the top. And then lastly, I'm going in with this Dior highlighter in the shade 001. And I'm going to pop this on the um, tear ducts right here. Just to have a bit of a pop. Next step is the eyebrows. So I'm going in with the Benefit Brow Style. This is literally my go-to. I haven't used anything else in so freaking long. I only use the wax side though. So I'm going to make a bit more of an arch though because my arch has faded off from the tattoo. Oh my God, I got the funniest comment on my TikTok the other day. Someone goes, oh my God, I haven't watched you in about seven years. Keep in mind, that's literally how long I've been doing YouTube for. So they probably watched my first videos ever. And they're like, and your eyebrows still haven't changed. You've still got slugs. And I'm like, Good call. Good call. And then to set them sluggies down, I'm going in with the Hourglass Arch Brow Volumizing Fiber Gel. Oh, I didn't know this was a fiber gel. It's the first time I've actually read what it is. So I'm just going to push my eyebrows up and it's going to make them look a little bit more full. Let's bronze up the face a bit. So I'm taking the MAC Give Me Sun. This is like my whole life. I've been using this for so many years. I'm sure you guys are bored of me using it, but it's the only one that is like a nice like orangey but bronzy look, you know? I like to be orange. So now I'm taking my MAC blush in the shade Melba. This is another one that I'd recommend if you... I just wanted one for every day. This literally matches every single makeup look. It's just a nice, like, pinky coral color. It's just nice to add a bit of a pop of color to the cheeks. 
Because when you put foundation on, obviously you're taking out like all the color out of your face, like you're blanking it out. So it's got a nice canvas to work with. It's, it's ironic how like you do that and then you put blush on because you're trying to get rid of the redness, but you put more on. Next step is to go on with the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. This one's so good. Mm, 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 mm. Oh my God, they sell Morphe at Mecca. So glad. I think one thing that you guys are going to have to keep reminding me is that my lips do not need to be overlined. I did it the other day and I look like a clown. I literally just keep forgetting. So I went to my dentist and he does lip filler and um, he said to me that he's not touching my lips until, wow, that is the most intense highlighter I've ever used. Like that's too intense. Bye. I'm going to swap for the Whisper of Guilt by MAC. It doesn't have the thing on there. Uh, um wow i can't even blend it out i think because i put that spray on there we go that's better um yeah so he said he's not touching my lips until my lips dissolve because i went to a few different places um over the years and they just obviously just didn't know what they were doing so all of my filler was kind of like up the top of my lip here so yeah he's like i'm not touching it until that dissolves you can either go get it dissolved or just let it dissolve naturally so i just waited like a year and then I went to get my teeth checked and like teeth clean and all of that because he does my veneers literally incredible. I love him so much. He's the most talented dentist. He's a cosmetic dentist like in the world. People go from LA to get his get teeth done. Um, anyways, I'm getting ahead of myself. So I was like, please tell me my lips are like down so you can fill them up, please. Because I just wanted them to look natural. Like I don't want them to look fake or anything like that. And I would never trust anyone else to touch my lips after what I kind of went through with them I look like a duck so he put a little bit of lip filler in my top lip just like around the border area to kind of create a border because it was really flat from like all of the filler that I've got and obviously because my natural lip isn't um full I've got a really tiny lip um ah! and I feel like weird even talking about it because I don't ever want people to think I'm like trying to get them to get their lips done because that's not the case but for me personally um if I you know if it was me like a year ago, I would love if someone recommended me somewhere that's actually really good. So it's Dr. Lazarus in Sydney. I will leave his shit down below, his info. Okay, so let's move on to the lips. I'm going to go in with this Jouer Longwear Lip Cream. No, lip liner. This one's in the shade Nude. So let's try not to overline the lips because I always do that. Got a special guest here. Hi, Vin. Why does she always do that with her neck? Binnels. Say hi everybody. She got a haircut yesterday and they honestly did not the best job and it was like $250 for three dogs. Hi everyone. I love you. She's so cute. Go in your bed. So for the lipstick today, I'm taking this little baby one right here. This one's from Charlotte Tilbury. I got this in a holiday pack. Isn't this perfect for clubbing? You can just take this out and like, hi. It's so cute. So I'm just gonna put this all over my lips. Well, obviously. Oh, fucking hell. This one's in the shade JK Magic. Oh my god, this is so tiny. I can imagine just like using this in one hit. Mama, 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 mama. Oh my god. Literally help me. Okay, so I'm gonna take the Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick in the shade at Milkshake. I always like to use this when I want an ombre lip. So we're just gonna put this on here. Okay, then we're gonna set my face one last time. I'm gonna go put on some cuter clothes and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so here we have the finished makeup look. I absolutely love how it turned out. This top that I'm wearing right here is from Beginning Boutique, by the way. It's so freaking cute. I have these cute like $2 earrings in. I love that for me. I really need to get some real gold earrings because maybe I'll take more care of them because I lose these ones like every three days and I'm always getting new ones. It's so annoying. But yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It's been really good to just sit down and have a little chat with you because I know I've been so not active on YouTube like pretty much for a year. But just so you know, it is in my goals that I wrote the other day to upload two videos a week. So I'll eventually get there and eventually be consistent again like it used to be. So thank you so much for being patient with me. I love you all so much. And oh my god, I look so cute. Love you guys, and I will see you next time. Bye.